Sure. Uh, so my name is David Solomon. I'm uh, a professor at the University of Southern California in, uh, in Los Angeles. Um, and in this paper, I'm trying to look at this idea of investor price pressure. So if you get events that cause a surge in demand by some groups of investors, does that affect prices? Now, if there's an increase in demand for cars, we think that the price of cars should go up. But with stocks, we think that there should be other guys willing to correct mispricing. If one share becomes too expensive, somebody should be willing to short it and correct, correct any errors. And the, the event that we're looking at this in is uh, dividend payments. So when a company issues a dividend, um, it tends to be a focal point for demand because there's some investors that want to buy to buy just before the dividend cutoff date, called the X day, to receive the dividend. And others investors that don't want the dividend who have to sell. And so what, what we're looking at in this study is what effect does this have on prices? Um, and in particular, it looks like there's an increase in demand. The net effect, when you add up all the guys that are buying because they want the dividend and the guys selling because they don't want it, the evidence looks like the guys who are buying are more numerous. And you're seeing these predictable price increases around the periods where companies issue dividends. So, so the basic punchline is that you can, it turns out that there are large abnormal returns that you can get as an investor in months when companies are predicted to pay dividends. And so the, the predicted is important because I can't, I can't read tomorrow's headlines and sometimes companies don't pay dividends. You know, maybe there's bad news, they don't make it. So I don't need to know if you'll pay a dividend, I just need to know the timing of when you're likely to. So in other words, if you paid in March last year, that means you're probably likely to pay in March this year. It's about an 88% chance. So it means that if I buy based on the timing of your dividends, on average, that's when you're gonna pay. And on average, those months have big returns. So you, you're clearing about 40, 50 basis points, you know, half a percent extra over and above what risk factors would predict in that month. And so there's this big predictability in returns. In other, wor and this, in other words, it's something particular to that month. It's not like the company has higher returns overall, they just have higher returns in that particular month. So the dividend event seems to generate, seems to generate these high returns. So what it seems to say about market efficiency is that there seems to be a net price pressure that's going on that's not being corrected. In other words, that for one reason or another, um, you know, arbitrages aren't taking the other side of the trade. So when you look within the month, you find that there's these big pricing, there's the price increases on the day that it's announced. There's the price increase on the X day, which is the, the returns on the last day you can buy the dividend. There's also price pressure in between. And the in-between period's kind of odd because it says there's no news, there's no tax consequences, there's no risk about the dividend, there's just net buying and the price is being pushed up. And so the real question is, what are the smart guys doing in all this? Why aren't they doing what we think they should do, which is to say, sell when the other guys are buying and buy when the other guys are selling and make the price even out. And it's hard to say conclusively, but what, one of the bits of evidence that we seem to have suggests that it might be the case that the smart guys are doing the opposite. The smart guys are instead trying to front run the effect, which is that if I know you're gonna buy tomorrow, I can do two things. Either I can try and sell tomorrow to offset your trades, or I can buy today and try and front run your movements. In other words, I buy just before the other guys are gonna buy, and I sell just before the other guys are gonna sell. And if the smart guys decide to do that, they're gonna add to the effect. They're not gonna, they're not gonna remove the effect. And there's, you know, there's some evidence when you look at the timing of it that suggests that. If there was high price pressure last month, that seems to be a signal to smart traders to front run the effect, when what you get is you get higher price pressure this month. There's a sort of persistence in that regard. So it seems to suggest that you can't always rely on the smart guys to correct predictable demand. They may find it more in their interests to try and ride this wave of investor demand rather than correcting the wave of investor demand. Implicit is in this study is there's this, there's this idea that in investors want, some group of investors seem to want dividends. Now, why they do is a very complex literature all on its own, and we're not, I'm not you know, able to totally answer that. But what we can say is, assuming you want the dividend and you're buying just before the last day, the X day, when you can collect it, one of the questions posed by this paper is, 
why do you choose to wait until the last day instead of buying a bit earlier? Because what it seems like is that that period earlier, there's a big price rise. And so if you wait until the last day, it seems like you're missing out on a large amount of abnormal returns. So one of the puzzles is, is exactly this question. If you're a guy that wants dividends, why don't you buy a little bit earlier? Why don't you buy just before the announcement or on the announcement? And then you'd probably be clearing an extra you know, 30 basis points or something like that. And it's not clear what the answer is. You know, it, it could be maybe they don't know about it. Maybe they have portfolio reasons that they just hate holding this stock more than they absolutely have to. But it's, it's an open question as to whether it actually makes sense, in the, whether they know that they could be apparently making more money on paper by buying a bit earlier. And if they do know that, whether they're comfortable with that given other reasons and constraints they may face.